Hello, my name's Andrew Brooks. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And in this episode, I'm going to be looking at what I believe is going to be the next McCartney archive release. Hello, thank you for joining me once again. And on this episode, as I said, we're going to be looking at what I believe, and it is only what I believe, pure speculation, so don't go holding your hopes out. But uh, I believe it's going to be the next McCartney archive release, is, and it's going to be the McCartney Unplugged album and video. Uh, it was uh, something that came around in 91, it was recorded for MTV, and it was called The Official Bootleg. Um, so a little bit of history, as I said, it was recorded um, for MTV at the Limehouse Studios in Wembley in London on January the uh, 25th in 1991. It was uh, released a bit later in the year in the UK, it was released on the 20th of May 1991, and in the US on the 4th of June 1991. Uh, it was it it was released as a standard CD, and there we have it there. And there's the back with the lineup of the band, and uh, that's the inside of it there. And uh, as I said, this was uh, called the uh, McCar Paul McCartney Unplugged, the official bootleg. Now it was uh, originally recorded in, uh, for MTV, as I said, and that. I should imagine is going to be the makeup of the main video, DVD, Blu-ray, whatever format it comes out on. However, however, there were some tracks not on the album included on that CD and on the vinyl, and I'll come on to the vinyl a bit later on. There were some extra tracks that were performed and, I should imagine, filmed. In fact, I can't imagine that the whole day wasn't filmed, the rehearsals uh, and the uh, and the the actual performance uh, that went out on MTV. So we had extra tracks that weren't on that album. Uh, they were Things We Said Today, um, Midnight Special, Matchbox, Mean Woman Blues, and an old song called The Fool. Uh, and although they did not appear on the CD or the LP, two of them, Things We Said Today and Midnight Special, did appear on official releases, and they were on the B-side of Biker Like an Icon single. So if you've got that single on the B-side, were those two tracks. Also, um, during the day, you've got to remember, it was a film, a TV studio. It was uh, a few, I don't know, I doubt if there was even a few hundred, probably a hundred, two hundred people there uh, who were specially invited, family, friends, and, and a few uh, fans that were specially invited that I know did get in. And they were there for most of the day, and the rehearsal... Obviously, prior to the recording, he, he actually did some songs that never actually landed up on the recording anywhere, but I should imagine they were filmed. Um, they were Mother Nature's Son, Figure of Eight, uh, Cut, Cut Across Shorty, um, Heartbreak Hotel, Heart of the Country, She's My Baby, and Mrs. Vanderbilt. So they were all rehearsed, and I should imagine filmed. So that's fingers crossed. They're on the Blu-ray DVD that comes with whatever archive release um, this this comes in. Now, I don't know if it's going to be a big one like we've had before or if it's going to be sort of going back towards the smaller ones. Um, there was, you think about it, plenty of film, plenty of photos taken throughout that day. So I should imagine the book will be quite quite good for uh, for that sort of material. Now, as I said, there were... Uh, LP copies made actual records and here's one of them here um, but there was only 500,000 of these made and they were made in Spain um, and all the writing in the back here is all in Spanish I don't speak Spanish so uh, I'll have to rely on the translation which came in the booklet for the CD uh, these were as I said 500,000 copies they were numbered there's my number there um, and this is still sealed. Nice. So, uh, as I said, that's the LP, the CD, cassette, because obviously cassettes were around then as well. Um, but what else could we possibly have if we've just got the album and the rehearsals and then the few tracks that weren't included? Well, funnily enough, round about 
or 10 days before the UK release, um, McCartney performed at two secret gigs, um, just days apart. The first one was in Barcelona, in Spain. Probably why that um, LP came out in Spain, because um, it all ties in with the uh, Barcelona gig. But he also um, did a secret gig in London at the Mean Fiddler um, in Harlesden, which is northwest London. And 600 people um, could buy tickets. Yes, you could buy tickets to a small gig, 600 people. And that was, uh, say, held at the Mean Fiddler. So here's my ticket here, as you can see. And it cost me the princely sum of £10. £10 to go and see Paul McCartney in a small small gig, uh, in a small um, like concert hall. And um, it was very tightly packed. No social distancing then, folks. And uh, on the back, it's... Uh, so they don't make tickets like this anymore, do they? It's, uh, it's great. So that was my ticket for that. Um, now, you're probably asking, well, what's that got to do with the Unplugged? Well, half of the show, he performed 13 songs that were performed at the uh, Unplugged TV show. 13 of them. And then for an encore, they then went electric. So it was um, half acoustic and then half electric. And... Uh, the electric side of it, he performed Band on the Run, My Brave Face, Ebony and Ivory, Saw Us Standing There, Get Back, Coming Up, Long and Winding Road, Ain't That a Shame, uh, Let It Be, Can't Buy Me Love. And then he finished with the um, Sergeant Pepper sort of um, you know, ending that he, he was uh, doing at the uh, shows at that time. So there is, I, I should imagine, was uh, that concerts or both the concerts, Barcelona and London were filmed uh, not pro maybe not professionally there were certainly wasn't cameras wandering around but I can't believe that there weren't uh, cameras at the back maybe just filming the whole show but that there was actually another gig um, another secret gig that he did um, and that was at South End on Sea and here's a bootleg of that particular gig um, called South End Surprise and on the back we have um, the ticket I didn't go to this one so uh, I don't have my own ticket but there's a picture of the ticket and it is the same set as um, was done um, for the uh, main fiddler uh, he does a full acoustic set at the top here and then uh, he does the electric set under here as well and it also appeared that um, Adrian Mitchell who was a poet also appeared um, that evening this ticket slightly more expensive £16.50 now I'm not going to I'm not saying you're probably going to get all of the concerts because um it would be a bit repetitive to have 13 tracks from the unplugged session which the the album is about but I should imagine if they were filmed and recorded fingers crossed um that they will appear in this archive set so you've got two extra gigs there as well as the unplugged so hopefully you never know we might get three gigs out of this um, now, going back to the MTV special, uh, it's never officially been released on DVD or Blu-ray or whatever. Um, and if you go on to McCartney's site, um, you can see that the Unplugged album has vanished. Totally vanished. And I believe that's why I believe um, it's going to be the next Archive edition. Because usually when they were building up to the Archive edition... The whatever um, streamer platform you listened on, Spotify or whatever, it would be removed. So you then, when it was finally released, you either subscribed and got the download of the new remastered, or you went out and bought it again. So um, that's the reason why I suspect that this is going to be the next um, sort of archive release. So yeah, looking on um, YouTube, there's no official videos from Paul McCartney um, showing any of these concerts. There are films on there. Obviously, people have uploaded them from when it was broadcast on TV. So you can still see it on there. But there's no official video. Apart from, um, and this is the only time these have come out on this DVD set here, um, the McCartney years. And it says here, Volume 3... Um, includes um, Unplugged from 1991 and if you actually go inside 
and look it's you've actually got four of the tracks from unplugged it's uh, i've lost my little girl which was the first time he's performed that on tv anywhere i believe um, because that was a song that he wrote when he was 14. Um, you've got every night and i love her and that would be something so if you've got this set you've got four of the uh, mtv show videos now fingers as i said fingers crossed that we'll be getting even more uh, i had a little rummage around and i dug out my club sandwiches from that era um, that's number 57 and if you check inside number 57 um, on page 10 let me get to the appropriate page we have um, an article all about the secret gigs uh, unplug sorry the tv special and as you can see there's the line up there it's uh hamish stewart and then there's linda uh, paul um bobby mcintosh then there's wicks and the drummer they've just brought in was blair cunningham um, he just joined the band in and replaced chris Whitten. So uh, that's the uh, Club Sandwich article about the uh, MTV Unplugged show. And then if you look at the next um, Club Sandwich, which is number 58, um, they go. They talk about secret gigs. There we are. And on the back, they look very similar to some of my pictures, these ones at the front, um, because I was down there and they've got a very red sort of lighting. And then once you uh, dip inside, there's... Uh, an article about the secret gigs uh, in Barcelona and London. Um, the Barcelona one written by Jeff Baker and the uh, London one written by Mark Lewishan. And then on the next page we've got some more of these photos from the session. So clearly there is lots of photos. There's lots of ephemera that you could get because obviously um, maybe uh, some reprints of these articles, expanded versions. Um, Obviously, you've got tickets, and uh, the people who went to MTV must have had a ticket, so you probably get replicas of them. But what we really want is um, recordings of the full shows. All three concerts would be great, you know me, more the better. But certainly the MTV one, and I'd just love to see the whole show, including the tracks that weren't broadcast originally. Maybe the rehearsal as well would be fantastic. So... Um, that's my thoughts on it and the reason why I think it's going to be the next archive basically it's been taken down off Paul's sites you can't stream it you can't watch it anywhere so um, I, and that's what makes me suspect um, that it's going to be the next um, archive release um, thinking about other things that could have been on the, uh, on the blu-ray there was um, a TV show called a Carlton a Carlton New Year which was a TV show shown for the new year of 1993 and again that was at the mean fiddler um but thinking about it when i did a little bit of research the tracks were more aimed at off the ground tracks rather than the unplugged tracks uh, so i've got a feeling when off the ground archive comes out that would be included in that set there um but as i say I've, that's as much as i can sort of find out about it hopefully you've enjoyed whatever videos have been playing down in the corner here throughout um please subscribe there's been a subscription link uh, throughout please subscribe always always enjoy getting new subscribers um please leave some reviews comments uh if you can think of more stuff that maybe I, I couldn't think of that would be included within the uh the archive set love to hear it and uh yeah anything at all any questions comments etc and uh hopefully we'll get this released soon because uh, it's certainly one that I'm looking forward to. Before or after Back to the Egg, I've got a feeling it's going to come out before Back to the Egg and London Town. Personally, I would love London Town and Back to the Egg first, but I'll take whatever we can get at the moment. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe. Uh, give some thumbs up or whatever it is uh, on YouTube that you have to, uh, to like it. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.